Biloxi homeowners who live on Crusaders Drive just south of the Mercy Cross Homeless Center say they still feel left in the dark about what's happening around their homes. Noah Noble first spoke with neighbors two weeks ago when they sent a letter to the diocese voicing their concerns. He met with them again today and joins us live with this update. Yeah, Jennifer. Patrick Murphy and Joyce Dunnell sent that letter two weeks ago to the Catholic Diocese of Biloxi expressing their concerns about the increasing number of homeless people who are traveling through their neighborhood going from Mercy Cross to Back Bay Mission. Today, Murphy and Dunnell telling me they're glad to see the new Homeless Resource Center open, but it's also raising some new concerns. Do you think there's been enough communication from the Diocese of Biloxi with uh, the neighbors there at Crusaders? No, I don't. Crusaders Drive homeowner Patrick Murphy says the Diocese of Biloxi did call and tell him the plans for the Mercy Cross Center. A positive, he says, reducing the homeless population to only those willing to register and follow certain rules. But Murphy worries those told to leave might move closer to his home. That's our biggest worry right now because uh, right directly across the street from us is uh, the overpass bridges. And now I'm sure once they tell them they can't be part of the program, that's where they're going to end up again. His neighbor, Joyce Dunnell, has similar worries. If they move Tent City, then Tent City is going to be across the street from our residents. We patient. We're not going to ruffle any feathers, but we do want some kind of solution and for the Catholic Diocese to reach out to us and let us know. We just want to meet at the table and see what they're going to do. Back Bay Mission Executive Director James Pennington invited Murphy and Donnell to brainstorm possible solutions. What I've learned about the neighbors here on Crusaders is they're not about nimbyism or not in my backyard. They're just like, let us know, talk to us, and let's make a plan together. So that's why we've met with them, because they're our neighbors. Um, we're, you know, we're two blocks from them, and the people that we're serving Serving are the people that they're um, frustrated with and have questions about. Mm -hmm. And so we just thought it was right to kind of meet with them. But just like the neighbors, Pennington says his communication with the Diocese of Biloxi has also been spotty. How has your communication been with the Diocese of Biloxi uh, during all this? Um, some of the communication is increasing, but it wasn't necessarily good. We weren't really brought to the table till just lately. Now, at some point, access between Mercy Cross and this neighborhood is going to be limited with a fence and a gate. That's part of the agreement between the Diocese of Biloxi and the City of Biloxi that was passed yesterday. But so far, there's no timeline on when that will happen. Live in Biloxi, I'm Noah Noble for WLOX News Now.